Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and this exercise is called the bed stretch. So it's a great one to get the front of the hip open up, so we get this hip flexor stretch and open up the quads. And it's something I developed for people that had a lot of pain in their kneecap, and um, whenever they're trying to do the likes of the couch stretch, or they had hardware in their knees, pins in their knees, so they're not able to fully close the knee to open everything up. So it's a really nice workaround. So what you can see here from Jenny is she's able to get her hip fully open at the front. She gets a really nice stretch in that position, and she's not having to put any strain through the knee it's the actual self or lean any body weight into it because the pressure is just above the knee so if Jenny helps herself off we'll show you how to set up in that position now it's called the bed stretch because it's much better done on a bed because your mattress is going to be lovely and soft hopefully and um, so what you're going to do is put the leg up on that you're going to be stretching and you're going to sit yourself back till you can grab your own heel okay then from there Bring everything forward nice and slowly. Use your opposite hand for assistance. Don't be trying to do mad balance stuff, Jenny, right now. Use everything you can for assistance. Then from there, scooch the leg back so that you're able to get the pressure of the mattress just above your kneecap, okay? So you're looking to rest just the bottom of your quad there on. And then from there, you can start to lean your body down into the position. And what you're looking to do here is try and tuck your pelvis and try and sit up from your front on that side. So you're getting that nice stretch at the front of the hip. And then from there, if you can tolerate, you can try and pull your foot in a little bit, but you don't have to. If you're getting a nice stretch position, you can squeeze your glute. You can try and push yourself forward. Nice thing with the leg that's still on the ground, you can start to rock yourself forwards and backwards. So you're actually moving in the stretch as well. You could even bring yourself out the side and bring yourself in a little bit. So have a bit of a wiggle in and around that stretch position as well. So hold that in and around for a minute at a time and then you would just swap legs um, and the nice thing is that like I said there's no real strict um, things on this that you're, you, know, you have to sit in a certain position. If you want to try and push the leg back a little bit further, you can do, and then you can start to sink yourself down. If you want to go bend the knee right the way down, you'll get more of a stretch as well, just depending on how much you can get that hip opened up. Just remember that everything moves in all different ways. Muscles don't just go forwards and backwards. They're able to twist and move in all those different ways, so you can really start to play around. There are nice sneaky gains from this one that I really like. is actually from the shoulders, so you get to open up the pec as well when you're in that position because you're holding your own leg. That looked quite nice there, didn't it? Um, so it's a really, really nice one, the bed stretch. So if you can't cope with having your knee on the ground, whenever you're trying to stretch the hip flexor, this is a nice workaround. So the pressure goes on above the knee instead. And like I said, grab on. If you really struggle trying to grab your own foot, you could use a strap if you want, but just keep trying to sit yourself back to see if you can grab your own foot and then rock yourself forward with it to get yourself into the position. So spend a bit of time on it and your hips will feel absolutely awesome. Okay guys?